Hey, it's James Stafford here from WebsitesMadeEasy.tv, and in this little video presentation, I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way possible to get your first ever properly optimized website up, published and live on the internet, set up in a way that will drive quality traffic, more customers, and cash flow and all without you needing any technical skills whatsoever. Best part of all, the website you'll have up and running will be powered by the same technology used to power company websites like CNN, Forbes, eBay, The New York Times, Sony, and many others. The only difference is, is that yours will be set up and running for basically pennies. Most people don't know that the exact website building platform that most of the biggest company websites are built with is available for free to regular ordinary folks like us. And because this website building platform has been designed for non-technical people without a webmaster and without any desire to learn programming, it allows for point and click and copy and paste setup. In other words, with this technology, you will have your first website up and running within just a handful of clicks of the mouse. So what is this wonder website building technology? It's called WordPress. Now, WordPress isn't just used by million dollar organizations. Because it's so deceptively simple to use, it's also the number one preferred website solution used by millions of smaller retailers and organizations, blogs, celebrities, and everyday people all over the world just like you. It doesn't matter if you're completely new online or you've been in business for a while, WordPress works fantastically well for everybody, regardless of your business type or your technical ability. One of the main reasons it works so well is that it uses something called a what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG editor. All this means is that updating content inside of WordPress is super easy and very intuitive. New pages, content, images, videos, and more can be added to WordPress with ease. In fact, if you can send an email, you can use WordPress. But that's not all. WordPress is so powerful that you can turn your website into a membership site, a searchable database, an e-commerce store, or just about anything else using plugins. Plugins are snippets of code which allow you to modify the functionality of your website to do almost anything you want without the need for an expensive developer or having to learn code. Quite simply, if you can think it, you can very easily do it with the use of plugins. WordPress also has another ace up its sleeve. With an almost endless number of themes, which are fully customizable, you can very easily change the entire look, feel, and functionality of your site with just a few clicks of your mouse. No technical experience needed. So if you've always wanted to learn how to build your own website, but had no idea where to start, then you're definitely in the right place. So you ready? So this is the website that we're going to make and properly set up. It's awesome. This is a free WordPress theme called Responsive. One benefit that makes this theme so powerful is that it is responsive. What I mean is a responsive theme has a flexible foundation that adapts your website to any mobile device, desktop, or any other viewing environment. Check it out. With Google's search engine mobile friendly update just released, and with over half the online traffic coming from mobile devices, you can see how vital this is for your online presence. The other major benefit that makes this theme so powerful is the ability to add a call to action. This usually is an image or a line of text that prompts your visitor, leads, and customers to take an action. It is quite literally a call to to an action. The action we want people to take could be anything. Download an ebook, sign up for a free consultation, get a coupon, attend an event. We want this to be a focal point on the home page of our website, as you can see here. By adding a call to action, we can start to collect email addresses and begin to communicate with our visitors in terms of our products and services. This way, we can ensure we don't lose out on website visitors just coming to our website and leaving. We can instead start a conversation through email by using our call to action. It's set up in a way for us to start turning our website visitors into subscribers and ultimately customers. This is vital as we want to ensure we have a conversion focused website so we can ensure we get lots of website subscribers that are hungry for our stuff. Not only that, this is one of the most trusted free themes to use with WordPress. It has a ton of support and it's just painless to work with. So here's what you're going to learn in this video. I'm going to show you how to add a call to action and a lead magnet.
I'm going to show you how to add a YouTube video. This is a great way to highlight your specific products and services to deeply engage through the power of video. I'm going to show you how to add my five favorite free must-have plugins to drive quality traffic back to your website. I'm going to show you how to add a photo gallery and a bunch of other killer goodies. So by the end of this, you will have a properly set up website using my proven three-step WTC system to ultimately drive quality traffic, customers, and cash flow. Sound good? Awesome. Let's get set up with hosting. This is step one, and this is where your website will live on the internet. This is really the only fee, and it's under 10 bucks a month. A small price to pay to have your business online. Let's get started with step one, which is choosing your website address. Your web address, often referred to as your domain name, is essentially where your website will live on the internet. It's really easy to set up, and to do that, we're going to head over to a website called HostGator.com. Now, there are lots of different services out there that will display your website online. These are called hosting services. I recommend you use HostGator because of how easy it is and how inexpensive their service is. So let's head over to HostGator.com now so I can show you how simple it is for us to get your new web address and set up to be shown live on the internet. Okay, so we're over here at HostGator.com. I've been working with these guys going on six years now. They're affordable, they have live 24-hour chat support and phone support, and they know WordPress. So if you have any problems whatsoever with your WordPress website, give them a call and they'll help you out. So having said that, uh, let's just get straight into it. So we'll select View Web Hosting Plans here in the center of the page, and we can go with the Hatchling Plan. The only difference between the Hatchling Plan and the Baby Plan is, is that you get unlimited domains with the Baby Plan. If you ever wanted to add additional domains to your plan, you can do so with the Baby Plan. The Hatchling Plan is fine if you're just trying to build one website for now. So we'll click on Order Now. Okay, so now we're going to register a new domain name. And hopefully you've thought this through for your business or whatever you want your website to be about. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of the business I'm building the site for, which is Serene Escape. And you can drill down. I've always gone with the .com, the .net, or the .org, whatever you're comfortable with, ultimately. So there we go. So then we'll go down and select the hatchling plan. And then I've always gone with the monthly package, just month to month. If you want to you know, pay for 24 months or 12 months or 36 months in advance, go ahead and do that. So whatever you're comfortable with there. And you can. this is just basic information in terms of setting up your account. So select a good username, security pin, enter some billing information here, and I'll do this here in a moment. So the hosting add-ons, you won't need any of these, so you can unselect all of these, and I'll do that here in a moment. What I want you to take note of here is the coupon code. Right now, um, this is their the pre-populated one. It says Snappy, and I will go ahead and type in if you use this, if you choose to use it, you'll save a little bit of money. It's WordPress Hero. From there, you can unselect all of these, and it'll drop the price down significantly. And there we go. Pretty basic, guys. So from there, we will just create our account, and what we'll get is a welcome email from HostGator with our login details to access our domain and from there we'll build out our WordPress website. So I'll see you back here in a moment once I receive the welcome email. Okay, shortly after you finish the checkout process with HostGator, you will receive a welcome email. And what we want to do is collect our password and username. So we'll copy the password and we'll click this special link here and this will take us to our cPanel where we can begin to build out our WordPress website. So click that link and go ahead and enter your username and password, and log in, and don't let this overwhelm you. We're looking for one thing only here. We scroll down to software and services, and we're looking for quick install. It's this little stopwatch looking icon with an, an arrow. So we'll click that, that icon, and we go over to blog software and click on WordPress. And just look how easy this is to get a WordPress website live online. Click WordPress, click continue. And we're going to put in some details here for us to receive our login information to our website. So put in a good email address, a blog title, 
And all this can be edited later inside the WordPress dashboard. Install now, and it's that easy. Wait a couple minutes and we'll have a live website online. Okay, and keep in mind, sometimes the website, once you click this link here to access the login page, it won't be available, and that's completely normal, so don't let that alarm you. It takes hours sometimes for the new domain to propagate, so just be mindful of that. So we'll click this link, open link in New tab, make sure you uh, collect your uh, or copy your password. And this is the WordPress dashboard. This is where we make all the edits to the site. So what we'll do just to see what the site looks like, we'll click this little house icon up here in the left hand corner and open this link in a new tab. Okay, so this is what your WordPress website looks like out of the box. And I'm going to show you how to clean all this up or actually properly set it up for the search engines and visitors in a way that it's indexed according to your various products or services to where people can ultimately find you online. And that's here to come shortly. WordPress comes pre-installed with default content. This is found on thousands of WordPress websites across the web. What we want to do is erase this content so we ensure our website is unique. So what I'm going to do is erase these th three things, the post, the page, and the comment. So I'll open these all in a new tab and just go ahead and trash them. So we'll trash that. Trash that sample page and then trash this comment. So I've just refreshed the dashboard and now we have, as you can see at a glance, we have no pre-installed content, it's all gone. So we have a fresh WordPress website to work with. So what we'll do next is head over to Settings, then General. And now we can see, well, here's our site title, Serenascape. We wanna get rid of this tagline. You can just remove this as this is pre-installed uh, content as well. Here's our URL, our domain name serenescape.net, our email address, and this looks good. So we'll just keep everything as is, and you save changes if you've made any changes. Then we'll go down to writing, and everything looks good here. So no need to change anything here. Then we'll go down to reading. 10 posts is good. And then I would select summary here. For each article in the, in the feed, show summary and save changes. Then we'll head down to discussion, and this is the comments. Everything here is good. I would leave this unless you want to turn off comments, um, but I would leave everything as default for the, for the time being. Then we will go down to uh, permalinks. This is very, very important. Um, and actually, it's, it's, it's now set to post name, which is perfect. Uh, post name ultimately is going to show. So say, for example, it was serenescape.net forward slash landscape design Newport Beach. Uh, this indicates to Google or the search engines what this page is specifically about to where visitors can find you as well. It's just a, it's a very clean way for people to find and the search engines to be able to find what your content is related to. So... All this looks good. We'll go down to WP Supercache. What this does is make your, uh, uh, your WordPress website run faster, and if you have simultaneous users on a site, it helps with that as well so it's not bogged down. So this is really going to help up the speed of your content load on your pages. So this is a very, very good thing, and this all looks good as well. What we're going to do next is really exciting. We're going to add plugins to the website and then change the theme. So it's going to change the entire look of the website. So let's talk about plugins for a minute. You're probably like, what's a plugin? Well, I'm going to show you the five must-have plugins to properly optimize your website for the search engines and visitors. So you're going to want to pay close attention to this and get this right. So basically what a plugin is, it is it extends the functionality of your WordPress website. Okay, so let's head over to plugins and add new. The first one we're going to add is the all-in-one all in one SEO pack. Out there, this is just the one that I've always used and I'm most comfortable with. So this is the one that 
I'm going to uh, add here now. So search for plugins. And we'll just add this one, install now. And that's it. So, and I'm going to show you how to set this up. So what we'll do is activate this plugin, all-in-one SEO, general settings. Okay, so pay close attention to this. All right, this is very, very important. Okay, we have our home title and our home description. Okay, think of the home title as a book's title. Okay, so what we've done is typed in Serena Scape, Newport Beach Landscape Design Firm. What we're telling the search engines and our visitors that this is exactly what our website or what this page is about. Okay, our home description is like the book's description. It's a brief description of what the website or the page is specifically about. So I have a small summary. Serena Scape Landscaping provides everything from small landscape renovations to complete design. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like in the Google search results. So I've typed in Landscapers Newport Beach. Now, this right here, if we look at um, um, this right here, it says Newport Beach Landscape Architects and Designers. This is the title tag. And below this, right underneath the uh, URL or domain name, find the best Newport Beach California Landscape Architects. This is the meta description. What the all-in-one SEO pack is going to do for you is create this. It's going to properly optimize your pages and website for the search engines and visitors so your content can be found online for your products and services. This is extremely important. Then I've added some keywords in here, as you can see, and you can put in several keywords related to uh, the page or website. Okay, let's see, open link a new tab. You'll see it up here. If you look up top, this is our title tag, Serena Scape Newport Beach Landscape Design Firm. You see it up top here? That's what the all-in-one SEO pack does. Good stuff. Now on to the next plugin. So we'll go to um, add a new plugin. The next plugin that we're going to add is the Google XML sitemap. And what this uh, plugin does is it tells the search engines about your content and will significantly help index that content. So we'll search for plugins. So basically it's like a map to your website. Install that. Activate the plugin. And that's all you have to do for that. The next plugin is SEO friendly. So what this does is anytime that you add an image to your site, it will tag the image specific to uh, what that image is about. So say for example, I have an image about uh, landscape design in Newport Beach. I can tag that image with that specific keyword. So whenever somebody does an image search in Google or the search engines, it will find that specific, here I'll show you an example. Uh, see those images that pop up? There you go. So there's a ton of people out there that search for images and they ended up clicking on one of these images and it takes them to uh, your website. So that's another way to get in front of visitors that are searching for your products or services. And the fifth must-have plugin is WP Socializer. And this is a awesome plugin to share your content with friends, family, uh, people that are looking for your products and services. So it's, you know, you've seen those links before, like on web pages where it says share now, or there's a little Facebook where it says share with your friends. Uh, sh Facebook icon and this this will do that for you so we'll install that super easy to set up you just activate the plugin so settings and you'll just go down to settings and you can adjust it according to what you want and there's some tutorials on here on how to properly set it up so that's that those are my five must-have plugins 
uh, to properly set up your website for visitors in the search engines. So make sure that you you do this, if anything, when you're starting out with your website. This way your, your content is indexed properly for the search engines. It's set up correctly so that when people are looking for your products and services, you are found online and you're not just an abyss out there um, lost. And if you don't set this up the way that I've shown you, you're really just kind of in the shadows, to be honest with you. Um, it's very, very important to set all this up properly. For those of you that are looking to build out an e-commerce website, there's a killer plugin called WooCommerce. And if you search for WooCommerce, and this plugin is just awesome if you're really looking to build out a full-on store with your website, you can activate the plugin. This is outside of the scope of this tutorial, but if you'd like to learn how to really build out a full-on e-commerce website using this plugin, you can learn that over at my website. Okay, things are about to get really exciting. I'm going to show you just how powerful WordPress is as we're going to change the entire look and feel of our website with just a couple clicks of the mouse. So what we'll do is, this is currently what our website looks like, okay? And we're going to head over to the dashboard and then go to Appearance and then Themes. And I'm going to search for, uh, let's see, add, or add a new. And you can either search for this. It's called resp the Responsive Theme. Um, sometimes it's in the popular, it's usually there. And I will go ahead and activate it right now. And check this out, guys. There's the new website. Very, very powerful. So what we're going to do next is build out this site. We're going to add a custom logo. We're going to add a Google Maps widget. We're going to add a YouTube video. We're going to add some pictures, an About Us page, all really cool stuff. So you're going to want to take some good notes here. So you might be asking, why did I choose this responsive theme? Well, a responsive theme is it works with any mobile device or any environment. An iPhone, tablet PCs, desktops, it's, it's great for that. Plus, there's a ton of support for this theme. It's very, very clean, and it's just very easy to work with. So I'm going to show you how to uh, build this out here shortly. My favorite thing about this theme, and probably the strongest benefit of this theme, is the call to action above the fold on the home page. This ultimately allows you to send someone straight to an email opt-in form where you will collect email addresses, and this is vital for your online business. So this right here in and of itself is worth uh, using this theme alone. As you can see, the site looks a bit different. What I've done is added a search bar and a YouTube video in the widget area. And what a WordPress widget is, is it allows you to add content and features to your WordPress website. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we'll head over to the dashboard, go down to themes, and then go down to customize. And you'll see just how easy this is to make these changes. So then we'll go down to widgets, home widget one. And I've added, as you can see, the search widget right here. And we can remove this and then add widget to add various widgets to this widget area. So I'll just go ahead and add that search feature back there. And later I'm going to add a uh, Google Maps widget there. So you'll want to pay attention to that as well. So we'll add widget. Okay, then we'll go down to home widget area three. And I'll remove this and show you just how easy this is to add a YouTube video. So what we'll do is add widget. And then we want to add this text widget so we can add in HTML, which will allow us to embed a YouTube video. So what we'll do is head over to YouTube. So I'm over at YouTube and I'm going to grab the embed code from this Landscape Design Newport Beach video. This is Serenascape's video. So what I'm going to do is head to Share and then Embed. What I'll do is grab this embed code, but I want to make sure that this is the smallest. And You can even do a custom size if you'd like. So I'm just going to grab this, copy all that code, and then head right back over to the uh, dashboard widget area and then just go ahead and enter that embed code in there and as you can see it populates in that widget area. So what we'll do is we'll save and publish and then here's our site right here. There you go. Okay next we're going to add the Google Maps widget. So what we're going to do is head over to plugins, 
add a new, search for Google Maps widget, install now, activate the plugin, then we'll head right back over to themes, customize, widget home uh, widget 2, drill down there, add widget, select Google Maps widget. And what we'll do is address, we'll just put in our address. So I've gone ahead and put in Serena Scape's address here. And I'm going to adjust this size to make it look a little bit better uh, with the site. So I'm going to do 275 by 90. And you can play with this some um, to your liking. And that looks pretty good. So we'll leave that. So we'll go ahead and close this and save and publish. And take a look what the, uh, the site looks like now. There, that looks pretty good. Just a quick tip here about plugins and themes. I get these questions a lot. When it comes to WordPress, there's so many options available out there and you'd be very, very surprised. So if you're ever looking for a specific theme, say with regards to uh, your services or products, you can just type in examples of those services or products and then just type in WordPress theme afterward or WordPress plugin and you'd be amazed at what's available. Just for example, you say your site, it, you wanted to have it in two different languages. You could type in Spanish plugin WordPress, or uh, you wanted to add music to your website, you could type in music plugin with WordPress. So there's just unlimited resources out there in terms of plugins and themes that are available. Just type in uh, the solution that you're looking for along with you know WordPress theme or WordPress plugin, and usually you'll find something. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to add a custom logo, change this image, and edit this call to action area. So what we'll do is head over to the dashboard, then go to Appearance Theme Options, then go to Logo Upload, and then we'll click here to add our logo. We'll choose the file desktop Serena Escape logo upload and that looks good you can kind of crop it to your liking perfect looks great so now what we'll do is change this image on the home page so what we'll do is head back over to uh, appearance and let's go to theme options and then we'll go to home page and then we'll head down to featured content so we'll add media and this you can add in a YouTube video here you can add in pictures so what we'll do is I'll upload files and there's my image and if you go over here you can edit uh, the image I want to do full size because it'll crop it down automatically to like 440 by 400 something something like that so you can either edit your image uh, by yourself or it'll do it for you insert into post save options and now we have a new image on the home page it looks pretty good so now what we'll do is edit this headline and subheadline and call to action area. So we'll go right back over to theme options and then home page and uh, change the headline, the subheadline, and added a lead magnet in the content area. I'll tell you what that means in a minute. So we've added custom landscape design. If you can dream it, we can build it. And the content area says be sure to take advantage of our complimentary consultation for your design needs. And then I've added a call to action saying free consultation. So what we're trying to do here ultimately is stay in front of our prospects. So if they're interested, they'll take advantage of the free consultation by uh, entering an email address. And we'll direct them once they click the button on the home page. Right here it'll say free consultation. So the idea is that it takes anywhere from like 7 to 12 touches before someone makes a buying decision with you. So we want to stay in front of those prospects or leads and we do this by email marketing to them. 
So we can drip drip feed content to um, our prospects or leads. Uh, kidding. And this way we can stay in front of them. And we're providing value by adding a uh, lead magnet, which is something for free. And they'll opt into our email address and uh, we'll be able to communicate with them by email. So ultimately, the free consultation button will be linked to this call to action URL where there'll be a contact form where someone can put in their email address, which is also known as an opt-in form. Remember the WP Socializer plugin we talked about earlier? Well, here's another cool thing that we can do with the widget area. So what we can do is we can go to, let's just delete this search widget, add a widget, go down to WP Socializer, add that, and then we can put in a Facebook like box. Serenascape doesn't have a Facebook page yet, so what I'm going to do is grab mine, the URL from my page, uh, the Facebook page, and then just put it in this uh, Facebook page URL field here. So we'll go up to the URL, copy that, head back over here, put this in, and there's what it looks like. So you can add the WP Socializer widget and have it on your home page here. There, that looks better. So we'll save and publish. So as you can see, there's plenty of cool things that you can do with the widget area. So now I'm going to show you how to add social icons to the site, what the site will ultimately look like in different viewing environments, whether that be a smartphone, tablet, PC, or iPad. Then I'm going to show you how to add different pages to this site, a contact us form, a bunch of goodies to come, so stay plugged in. So we'll head down to Appearance, Theme Options, then head down to Social Icons and click on that. Then you'll add in your various social media outlets. So I'll just plug in mine for the time being. Save Options. And then if you look to the bottom right hand corner of the site, that's where you'll see them appear. So we'll refresh the page, and there you go. And then if you click those, it'll take you straight to this, that page. Check this out. This is what the responsive theme does in different viewing environments. This is what it would probably look like on an iPhone or a smartphone. And this is critical. If you take a look here, where we have the free consultation, what we're going to do is add a link to this, and I'm going to show you how to do this in a minute, to where it, it takes you straight to a contact us form. And this is, if someone sees this on an iPhone, this is what they're going to see. Just enough information and just enough value to be able to say, hey, listen, you know, I want to um, see what this is all about. And they'll click there and go to a contact us page. So that's uh, really, really important to have this optimized properly. Okay, I really want you to pay attention here. Write this down, underline it several times, whatever you have to do to make sure this sinks in because this is very important. So what I've ultimately done here is created a lead magnet. And what a lead magnet is, as I talked about earlier, it's providing something of value for free in exchange for an email address. And we have some basic information here in terms of what Serenascape does. This is a great way to start a conversation with our prospects or leads by email marketing to them, staying in front of them, ultimately stimulating business. I'll give you another example of a lead magnet. This is the home page of my website that I've been using for probably two years now. And it's worked really well for me. What I've done is provided something of value in exchange for an email address. How to properly set up your WordPress website and drive loads of traffic and customers with our step-by-step -step video tutorials. This is a great opportunity to really over-deliver value through your products and services in exchange for an email address, ultimately starting a good relationship with your prospects. So what we're going to do now is add a contact form, and we're going to accomplish that by adding a page to our site. So the first thing what we'll do is add some content to a page, then install a contact us form plugin, then add the contact form to that page. So what we'll do, and I've already done this, we'll head over to Pages, add a new page, and you just select that. And then I've already gone ahead and added some content to this page. 
So, and you can do that through a Word document or a notepad. And here it is right here. And I've titled the page Free Consultation and then just added some content. And over here you can see Page Attributes and you can select how you want that page to ultimately look and feel. And I'll just leave default template. And we'll go ahead and uh, publish this page. And as you can see here, our permalink, which we talked about earlier with the permalink settings, it says serenescape.net forward slash free consultation. And this is great for SEO purposes, for proper search engine optimization so people can find you online. So what we're going to do next is add a contact us form to this page by adding a contact us plugin as well as uh, taking out some of these social icons, and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. So we'll go back down to Edit Page. We can disable this and then Update. It's the WP Socializer View page. And then we just have this scrolling one on the sidebar. Now what I'm going to do is get rid of this sidebar on this page here so it's just a clean page so we have our content and then we'll have a contact us form right in the middle of the page here so what we'll do is go back down to uh, over here to edit page then we'll head over to page attributes and let's go to content actually full width page no sidebar update that view page and there we go so we're back over at the dashboard. Now what we're going to do is add a contact form to our page. So we need a contact form plugin. So we'll head over to Plugins, Add a New. And we're looking for a plugin called Fast and Secure Contact Form. And you'll search for plugins. Fast and Secure Contact Form. We'll install now. And then activate the plugin. Then we'll head down to Fast and Secure Contact Form Settings. And I will erase that. Welcome introduction. And then make sure you have the right email address in here. This will notify you when you have email. So or when someone inputs their email address. So mine's, uh, that's correct for me. And what we'll do is copy this short code right here. And this is what we're going to input on our page. So we'll copy that. We'll save changes. And look how easy this is to get a contact form on our page. We'll head back up to all pages. Edit. Free consultation. And then we'll put in our short code right there and then just update the page and then view page and there you have it now what we're going to do is link our free consultation page by copying this URL up here to this button the free consultation button so we'll head back over to the dashboard so then we'll head down to Appearance, then Theme Options, then select Home Page, and then just enter where it says Call to Action URL. Just paste in that URL there, and then Save, save Options. And now if we go back and refresh the Home Page, and we click the free consultation button, it should take us right to that page. Perfect. Now we're going to add an About Us page with a contact form in the sidebar widget. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll head back over to Pages, Add a New. Okay, now we want to add under Page Attributes. Let's go with uh, Content Sidebar Half Page. We can publish. 
view page. Let's disable a couple of those templates uh, with the WP Socializer. Update the page. View page. All right, perfect. Now what we'll do is add in a contact form right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's go back to edit page. So now what we're gonna do is grab the short code for the contact us form. And we'll head over to the plugins area to grab that short code. And then we'll add that short code to the right sidebar widget area. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So we'll head back over to plugins, install plugins, go down to the fast and secure contact form settings, copy the short code. Now we'll head back over to appearance widgets. Now we're going to add our short code over to the right sidebar half page. As you remember, we selected the template right sidebar half page. So we'll enter the short code there, but we need to first put in a text widget so we can enter that short code. So we'll just paste in the short code, save it. So now we should have a contact us form on our about us page. So we'll head back over to about us. Awesome. I'll show you how to add a photo gallery to your website so you can add pictures of your various products or examples of the services that you provide. So what we'll do is head over to plugins, add a new, and we're looking for a really popular plugin called Next Gen Gallery. So just type in Next Gen and it should pull that right up. There we go. Install now. And this is super, super easy to uh, set up. So we'll activate the plugin here and we'll go down to add a gallery. And we'll create a new gallery and just name your gallery. I'll name this landscape design. And then we'll start uh, adding files. So select uh, the files that you want to upload or the photos. All these and upload them all in one shot. And start upload. Okay, so now what we want to do is create a page for these photos to be displayed on. So we'll head over to add a new, open link in new tab. Just name the page Orange County Landscape Design Photos, and look how easy this is to create a awesome photo gallery for your website. So we're gonna click this little green icon here, attach next gen gallery to post. Very, very simple. And what we'll do here is select the style we want. I'm gonna just go with the basic thumbnails. This is gonna show just a display of all, um, just a small image of all your, uh, your images that you've uploaded. Okay, and you can pick and choose what you're comfortable with here. So we'll go with that one. What would you like to display? and we'll select uh, gallery, select the gallery, we want landscape design, customize the display, this all looks good. And here are all our images, you can exclude them if you want, and then you can uh, go ahead and save. There's our, uh, our gallery, so what we'll do is publish the page. I wanna disable the WP Socializer, so we'll get rid of those icons, um, if you can recall. And let's, Orange County Landscape Design photos. Orange County landscape photos. Make this update. Perfect. Pretty cool. And then we can get rid of this too. If you recall, we just go back with a contact us form in the right hand sidebar. Awesome. Another awesome feature of the NextGen Gallery plugin is it allows you to add your photo galleries in a widget area of your website. So what I'm going to show you how to do is add a little photo gallery right here where this search bar is. And we'll remove that search bar and add the NextGen Gallery widget there. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. 
So we'll head over to the dashboard, then we'll head down to appearance and then widgets. And just look how easy this is. So we'll go to home widget one, remove the search field, and then add in the next gen widget here. We'll save this, we'll go ahead and select all galleries, save it, and you can adjust this. I'm gonna show you how to adjust it right now. Okay, we'll bring this, we'll tighten this up some. So as you can see, and then you can click on one of the images and there you go. So we'll just put two in there and adjust it so it looks a little bit cleaner in there. So let's try, and we'll do two. Perfect. There you go. That's how easy it is to add a little photo gallery with NextGen to the homepage or website. And I'll get rid of this little gallery here. Let's see. We'll get rid of that. Remove that. Save it. Head back over. Refresh the page. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to show you a bonus plugin that is an absolute must-have. It's been responsible for probably doubling my email list. And I talked to you earlier about the importance of having a lead magnet and collecting email addresses. Well, this is a fantastic way to do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is head over to sumome.com. If you're familiar with AppSumo, the, uh, those guys are the maker makers of this plugin. And this is called the List Builder plugin, and this is actually an example of it right here. What this light box does, or popover is what they call it, is it, it pops up when, after a certain amount of time or with a smart feature, it'll pop up when it thinks the visitor is about to leave your page. So basically what you want to do is create something like they've done here, something of value that somebody would want in exchange for their email address. And this is awesome for collecting email addresses. And I cannot stress this enough that the importance of being able to collect email addresses and stay in front of your prospects and leads to build a relationship and continue to communicate with those guys. Okay, so we'll download this plugin and it's pretty straightforward. You just install it and the features of it. I'll step you through that uh, here in a moment. Okay, so what we'll do is select Git App right here. Then we'll just want to download the WordPress plugin. Download the plugin. Once it's downloaded, you'll go over to your dashboard, head over to plugins, add a new plugin, and then we'll just upload the plugin. Choose sumome.zip, install now, activate the plugin. Okay, cool. Now we have the plugin installed and we'll head over to this crown looking icon here. We'll click on that and this is very straightforward. Just follow the instructions. Okay, and what we're looking for is this little crown icon on your site. So open your site up in a new browser or a new window, and we'll click on the crown icon here in the right, top right hand corner. And you will have to sign up if this is new to you. I've already done that. So you would next you'd go to Sumo Store, and then you will just click on Free. I've already done that, so you'll I'll open it here. And now we're inside the List Builder dashboard, and this is right here. Um, a snapshot of what's happening uh, with your daily stats. Uh, this shows you how many times your popover has been displayed, how many subscribers uh, that you've collected throughout the day, and your conversion rate. This is the design section, which uh, you can customize to your liking to match your site. Uh, right here, the text. Make sure you provide something of value that resonates to your visitors, prospects, or leads. Uh, that they will find value in in order to collect their email address. If you don't do that, they're not going to be inclined to put in their email address. So typically you find a, a, a pretty strong pain point and you provide a solution for that pain that they're looking for. Okay, so uh, in saying that, we will go to behavior. You can select manual or smart. Uh, the smart feature basically uh, will display the pop-up when it thinks the visitor is going to leave. Manual, you can uh, select how many seconds it's going to display uh, before the pop-up shows. So we'll leave that at five seconds for the sake of this uh, demonstration, as I'll show you what this looks like here in a minute. 
services, you can connect uh, the List Builder plugin to your email client. So if you have any of these as your email client, you just s select them, connect, very straightforward. Uh, advanced, if you, don't if you don't see your email client here, if you have Infusionsoft, for example, you just get their custom HTML and plunk it in here. Very, very easy to set up. Okay, and now what I'll do is show you uh, what this looks like ultimately. And it should display about after five seconds or so. There you have it. Very, very powerful. Again, I cannot stress enough the importance of collecting email addresses, and this will really help do that, possibly double your subscribers daily. So make sure you get this plugin. Guys, that's it. I hope you got a ton of value and learned a lot. If you found this video helpful, leave a comment below and make sure you like and share this. Also, be sure to check out my website, websitesmadeeasy.tv, for more step-by-step -step tutorials just like this one to learn how to really dial in your new website with more killer goodies, quality traffic, and customers. See you soon.